More light shed today on the horrific killing of eight people in Joliet. Yeah, police are retracing the path of the killer to his death in Texas. Nate Rogers has been tracking the tragedy in Will County from the beginning. Nate. We've been in contact with the victim's family members as well as their colleagues, many still too distraught to speak on camera at this time. We also now know for sure the relation of those victims to the suspect. The Will County Coroner identifying the victims as the suspect's mother, 47-year-old Tamika Nance, his aunt, 38-year-old Christine Esters, who's a corrections officer at the Joliet Treatment Center, also killed 35-year-old William Esters, the suspect's uncle, also 31-year-old Joshua Nance, his brother who was bedridden. Finally, the suspect's three sisters, 20-year-old Alexandria Nance, 16-year-old Alana Nance, and 14-year-old Angel Nance, all shot to death. We can't get inside his head. Uh... Uh, we, we just don't have any uh, any clue as to why he did what he did. Police now believe the suspect, 23-year-old Romeo Nance, committed the Hayden's murders Sunday afternoon, then jumped on the road inside his red Toyota landing in Texas. Police say Nance swapped his license plate with a stolen one before being chased by U.S. Marshals at this service station in Natalia, Texas. Task Force officers with the United States Marshals Service uh, observed Mr. Nance armed with a firearm fleeing from the vehicle. Authorities say Nance eventually shot himself after a confrontation with police. Detectives went to his home here in the 2200 block of Acres Lane Monday, finding blood on the front door. Inside, two relatives were dead. At the family's second home, five others discovered murder. We do believe that the, the shootings at the 2200 block were the original shootings and then the two random shootings took place shortly thereafter. Unrelated to this crime scene, police say Nance, who has a criminal history, then allegedly killed 28-year-old Doyosi Bakari and shot a 42-year-old man also in Joliet. During the course of this investigation, we determined that a three-year-old boy was unaccounted for. And we quickly located that child with a relative in a nearby community. And as you can see, more than 24 hours after the start of this investigation, the crime scene still remains blocked off. We know that crisis intervention teams were out here throughout the day speaking with neighbors and with family members as well. Police also telling us they don't believe that the suspect had any association in Texas. That is the latest here in Joliet. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago.